This is the block for this Jelly Roll quilt. And I call it slides and ladders because these two um, pieces of fabric on this side are the slides and this is the ladder. Um, it's just a name I made up. I saw a picture of this block, but I couldn't figure out where it originated. The quilt you just saw in the beginning uh, of this video was made with these fabrics, and these are basically uh, just a bunch of scraps I had from width of fabric strips. They're two and a half inch wide strips times the width of fabric, and they were all leftovers from various um, projects, mostly from jelly rolls and from pieces that I cut myself. But in the, the demo for this um, video, I'm going to use a jelly roll from a collection, and this is a collection from Moda, and the designer is Ginger Burr. Um, I don't know what the name of the collection is, but what you're going to do is take 38 strips from your jelly roll, or 38 strips from your scraps, and you're going to start by sewing them all together in pairs. Um, these are light together, some are light and dark. There's no uh, rhyme or reason, you just sew them together in pairs. Once you sew your strips together in pairs, you can press the seam. Now you can press however you like. You can press to one side or you can press them open. It really doesn't make a difference uh, in this quilt. So now you will have 19 strip sets, and each strip set has two strips in it. So you're going to separate out nine strip sets and 10 strip sets. So you have a total of 19, so you take out nine for in one stack and 10 in the other stack. And what we're going to do now is cut these up. This is the slide portion of the block and we're going to cut those from the nine strip sets. And this, this is the latter portion and we're going to sew these together first and then cut them. But let's go ahead and cut the slide strip sets. Okay now for the slide we have our nine strip sets and we're going to cut eight and a half inch segments. So cut off your selvage first, and then we're going to measure eight and a half inches. And then cut a segment. And do that all the way down. So do that for all nine strip sets. So you should have 45 pieces when you're finished. With the 10 strip sets you have remaining, you're going to take two of the strip sets and sew them together and do that for all of the 10. So you will have five of these strip sets now that have four strips in them. And we're going to cut these into four and a half inch segments and these will be our ladders. When you get to the end, you probably, or you might, have enough to cut something for your next scrap quilt. And I'm going to see if I can get two and a half inches on here and I can. I'll have a little bit of salvage, but I'm gonna cut it anyway. So now you have this two and a half inch strip by uh, eight and a half inches, and you can sew this into a scrap quilt. So this is the one that I had left over from the other, uh, from another strip set. You can sew these together and have a block. So do that with all the remaining uh, strip sets for the ladders and you should have 45 of these pieces when you're done. Now we have our stack of 45 slides and our stack of 45 ladders. We're going to sew them together. And try to mix these up as much as you can. It's probably going to be inevitable that you'll have somewhere along the line, you'll have the same fabrics touching each other, but 
um, we just have to deal with that because it's going to happen. And it's in, in the big scheme of things, it doesn't make that big a difference. And what you can do is you can rotate these around to see how you like them. So you can rotate the slides and you can rotate the ladders and just mix them all up and sew them all together. And once you sew them like this, um, this is what it looks like. This is the other one. The slides are on one side, the ladder's on the other. And once you sew them like that, I press toward the slide, but it doesn't really matter. And after you do all these, you'll be able to put them together in the quilt top. And I wanted to show you, I have these. These were the ends of the strip sets, the ladder strip sets. And I can put these together and make a an 8 inch finished block so it would go in your um, scrap quilt so just sew that together and this you can use for 2 inch finished um, if you have 2 inch finished block blocks you can add them together and put them in your scrap quilt now I have all of my blocks are finished and I trimmed these up I squared them up to eight and a half inches they're just very little bitty slivers on mostly all four sides that had to come off. So it's quite time consuming, but uh, it's worth it because you have nice squared up blocks to put together. Um, now it's time to lay out your quilt and you're going to put six blocks across and, and to make a row and then seven rows down. My first preference is just to throw them all together and you know whichever way orientation you want to put them it doesn't really matter because this is one of those kind of scatter quilts where everything is just every which way and there's really no order. So you can do that if you like like that way or if, if you like more um, organized things here's a suggestion for you. Um, just look at the slide. So we're going to look at the orientation of the slides. And for this row, you can do the slides on the left, then the slides down, and then continue like that. The slides left, slides down, all the way across with your six blocks. So do that for all of the even row or the odd rows. I'm sorry, it, it doesn't really matter. But in this case, we'll do it for the odd rows. So uh, left down, left, down, left, down. Then the next row, you can do the slides up and right. So, and then up, right, up, right, all the way down. So, left, down, left, down, left, down, up, right, up, right, up, right, all the way across. And so lay them out and just see if you're happy with the placement. And like I said, you're going to have some that uh, where the, the fabrics are the same and they'll touch each other but I don't worry about that but if you are worried about that then move them around and arrange them how you like. So now we're going to sew the rows together and we're going to we're going to sew the blocks into rows and sew the rows together. And here is the finished version uh, of this quilt the uh, the top actually I have not quilted it yet. Um, the, it's uh, six rows six blocks across and seven rows down and uh, in the instructions, which you can, it's not a pattern download, but you can get the instructions on my blog and in the video description or the show notes, sometimes they call them that, you can look and it'll have a link to my blog and it will give you the amounts of fabric you need and if you want to add borders, the quilt in the very beginning of the video had two borders, an inner border, which was also the binding, and an outer border. And it tells you how to put those borders on and how much fabric you need. So thank you for watching and I hope you can put this cute little quilt together. If you have a jelly book roll or if you have uh, scrap strips uh, two and a half inches wide. Thank you for watching.